All right, for the final video in this section on form actions, let's learn how to progressively enhance our form. At the moment, our login or registration form works without client-side JavaScript. This is always great, but when JavaScript is in fact available to us, we can progressively enhance our form interactions to provide a better user experience. In this video, let's look at the easiest way to do that. In the browser, when we fill credentials and submit the form, there is a page reload which we can observe as part of the fav icon in the browser tab. Login, and you can briefly see the loading spinner as we are redirected to the home page. If JavaScript is enabled, we can skip that page reload and navigate to the next route. And we do that using the enhance action. Technically, it's called an action, but you can think of it as an attribute we can add to the form element. So on the form tag, use colon enhance. Make sure to import enhance from $app slash forms. If you now head back to the browser, clear the cookie, navigate to slash auth, enter credentials, and login, we see the redirection without a full page reload. And this is great from a user experience point of view. Now you can also assign a submit function to this enhanced action for more advanced scenarios. I'll leave that for you to explore when you have the time. With that, we come to the end of this section on form actions. We have learned what are form actions in SwelteKit, how to define default and named form actions, how to invoke them from different routes, handle validations, redirections, and finally, how to progressively enhance form user experience when client-side JavaScript is enabled. Hopefully, you now have a really good idea of working with forms in SwelteKit. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.